The first step to build our Crafty Coffee website is to get the assets like images, JavaScript, style sheets into our project or onto our server so that when we start to add our template code, everything renders and looks properly. The first step to doing that is to get access to the template code itself. And that's available at the URL here on the screen where you can go ahead and download a zip file of all of the code for the static templates. Now this is not the actual craft implemented template code, it's just the static template code. Now once you have that, you want to open it up and you'll see a bunch of directories and files. And some of them are, you know, like a gulp file for building the CSS, but there's also some HTML files for the templates. What we're interested in right now are just a few things. We're gonna grab Bower components, images, JavaScript, and style sheets. And we'll copy them. And over in our Crafty Coffee project where we have craft installed, we go into the web directory and we're going to put them in the root of the web directory. If we open that up in our text editor, you can see we have all of our files here. This is our home page. And you can see we're using Bower components, style sheets. Some of this is getting pulled from external. And then down below, we're using some jQuery and foundation code. When you start building the site and you notice that there are styles or images missing, go ahead and confirm that you have everything moved over properly. And if you have to, you can re-download the static files again and apply those assets back into the project. 